The Underdark, a mysterious yet cruel realm, filled with tunnels and evolved creatures. All is strange in the land, but now, it has become the battleground for the most evil of monsters. Not all will make it through, but those who do may claim glory for saving the surface world. Out of the Abyss is a campaign that has you travel through the Underdark and learn of its strange inhabitants. The campaign is particularly long, so in this video, we will explore what story lies ahead. You begin your adventure waking to the sight of bars. Having been captured by the drow for some days, your hands are shackled and clothing missing. Talking to the other prisoners, you learn that you are in the Underdark at a drow outpost called Valkaneve. The terribly dark and maddening atmosphere is suffocating to outsiders. You must escape this horrid realm. There are rumors of a contingent coming from the drow city nearby, Menzo Berenzen. They plan on transporting their prisoners here to the drow city so time is of the essence. A few prisoners and you escape the confines of your holding. After searching for equipment in the drow post, you make your way to the outskirts of the location. Here, you find three passages. The northern passage leads you to the city of Menzo Berenzen. The western passage leads to a dark lake, and the southern passage leads to the Durogar city of Gracklestug. With your sights set on escaping this terrible place, entering the drow city would be unwise. While the Durogar may be unkind, it's better than being captive once again. Most appealing, however, is the Dark Lake, where you may be able to find a boat and escape via the waters. Approaching the Western Passage, you leave the outpost behind you, along with your days of captivity. Hot on your heels is a party of drows, searching to recapture you. Keeping your pace fast, you embark on the path before you. These passages wind and lead you into strange and creative pathways. The journey is long and arduous, and the pathway is dark and confusing. The Underdark is maddening, and those who traverse it must be prepared to test their sanity. After days of travel, you hear the sound of flowing water echoing from the distance. The Dark Lake must be near. Arriving to the body of water, you follow its path to a city. Traversing the town, you hope to find a ship and use one of the Dark Lake's many rivers and escape the Underdark. Here, you find a race of fish people called Kuatoas. These creatures may appear to be normal, minus their appearance, but interacting with them will reveal that they are a mad race. You encounter an arch priest of the Sea Mother named Plut Plutpeen. He tells you that his daughter has been having strange visions of Limu Gugan, the Deep Father. She proclaims him to be the new god of her people, and now the town is split into two. The ritual to summon the Deep Father requires humanoid sacrifices, and the arch priest hopes to use you as bait in order to stop the ritual. You agree, and he brings you to the altar of the Deep Father. Plut proclaims to his daughter that he has brought you as sacrifices for her ritual. Just as you are brought forwards, however, Plup attacks his daughter, killing her. Unfortunately, it is too late, as rising from the waters, the Prince of Demons himself, Demogorgon. You barely make your escape from the city, catching glimpses of a twin-headed monstrosity laying waste to the town. Following the coast of the Dark Lake, you come upon the Durogar city of Gracklestug. Once reaching the gates, you explore the city only to find it extremely hostile towards you. Through aiding the many politically powerful residents of the city, you find a merchant who wishes to bring his gems to Blingdenstone, along with the ghost who requests you take his corpse there as well. Gaining enough favor, you request an audience with the Deep King. As you reach the hold of the Deep King, you see on the end sits a crowned Duergar and a royal consort dressed in coins. You see that he is mad, and attempt to help rid the king of his insanity. This enrages the consort, who exposes herself to be a succubus. She strikes at you, but you manage to fend her off and cure the king's mind. You ask him for help on your journey to escape the Underdark, and he provides you armor and refuge from the drow chasing you. Equipped with your new gear, you set forth to deliver the gem and the corpse, hoping to find an exit to this forsaken realm. Following the waterways of the Underdark, you find a strange yet serenely beautiful passage covered in glowing mushrooms. At the other end of the tunnel is a vast mushroom forest. You see the area is populated by myconids and their minds-controlled slaves called Spore Servants. One of the prisoners you escaped with, Stool, returns to their home here. Having brought home Stool, a Myconid leader, Sovereign Bastidia, thanks you. Bastidia tells you that some of the other leaders have been acting off due to a strange spore. You learn that the other Myconid leaders are harboring strange ideas of infiltrating the outside world, and more followers grow by the day. Basidia gives you a tour of Neverlight Grove and introduces you to each of the other leaders, pointing out which have the strange affliction. She also requests that you enter the Garden of Welcome and find out what is going on in that area. After a day's rest, you enter the Garden of Welcome, where you find a drow party, or what remains of it. A drow acolyte is still alive, begging you for her death. She tells you that they were sent here to capture you, but met an unsightly demise when aiding the Myconids. 
As you converse with the drow, you are attacked by a leader of the Myconid, transformed by the spores in the area. After defeating the creature, you enter further in, where you find the demon lord, Zuckmoy, asleep. Her servants play out a mock wedding, and you understand that it is imperative to leave the city now that there is a demon lord here. You rush to Basidia to inform her of the demon lord that lies within, and she gathers as many citizens as she can, escaping Neverlight Grove. Set on the destination of Blingdenstone, you traverse through the tunnels and rivers to the location. Greeted by mining outcrops and gnomes, you find yourself outside city structure with high walls. The deep gnomes within the city welcome you wholeheartedly, for it is not often that they encounter outsiders. You deliver the gem and corpse from Gracklestug, and gain the favor of the gnomes here. Interacting with the citizens, they are more than happy to help you find an escape, but are currently preoccupied. You meet with the informal leader, Dorbo Digramatic, and he requests that you help him with the earth elementals and Medusa in Rock Blight. Additionally, he requests your aid in dealing with the were-rats and oozes terrorizing the city. You help him clear up Rock Blight, and form a peace treaty between the gnomes and the were-rats. On your way to reporting your success, a battle erupts in the town between the gnomes and the oozes. Using your newfound allegiance with the gnomes, you defeat the oozes and their pudding king. Dorbo thanks you for defending the town, and declares you heroes of Blingdenstone. A feast in the city is had, and the residents hold a huge party in respects of your help. Dorbo offers you a map and guides, to a portal that leads you out of the Underdark, and tells you that you will always be welcomed here. Dorbo bids you farewell, and you set forth to the exit of the Underdark. With the help of your gnome guides, you easily make your way to the old portal. One of the guides begins to open the portal, but from behind you appears the drows that have been chasing you. The drow begins to attack you as the gnome desperately attempts to open the portal. After some time defending against the drow, you enter the portal and shut the gateway behind you. Having escaped the Underdark, you find yourself in an open plain, away from the dark and horrible tunnels. You rush off into civilization, hoping to warn the people of the Demon Lord stirring in the Underdark. After a few months recollecting yourself and resting, you are summoned to Gontelgrim by King Bruner Battlehammer. Once arriving to Gontelgrim, you are directed to meet the king. The friendly king has heard of your escape from the Underdark, and requests that you recount your findings in the foreign land, specifically on your encounter with Demogorgon and Zuckmoy. After doing so, he invites you to stay for the feast being held later in the day. You stick around for the feast, and have a grand time dining with representatives of factions all over the world. When the party ends, the king excuses himself and a servant requests that you follow the king. King Bruner tells you that the factions he has recruited today is an aid for his mission. He wishes for you to return back to the Underdark and find out more of the Demon Lords. There is a trading post in Mantle Dareth, where you can meet Gazrum Dulok. Gazrum will lead you to Graven Hollow, where you find ancient knowledge. With the mission in place, you recruit a member of each of the factions and journey back into the Underdark. Using the hidden networks belonging to the Zentarum faction you've allied with, you make your way to the Dark Lake in the Underdark. A 22-day trip brings you to the entrance of Mantle Dareth, an outpost spiraling up to the ceiling of the cavern. Entering the outpost, you find it in chaos. The factions of Duragar, Zentarum, Gnomes, and Drows are fighting amongst each other, and at the center of it all is a gem. This gem is being passed among the people in Mantle Dareth, bringing madness to whoever holds it. Inside the gem is the demon lord, Fraz Erblu, who is the culprit for the madness surrounding the gem. Once intercepting the gem, you destroy it, hoping to prevent future madness from spreading through the outpost. In doing so, you have released the Demon Lord back into the Abyss. Meeting with Gazrum Dulok, you tell him that you were sent here by King Bruner to find more information of the Underdark. Understanding your quest, he hands you his ring, which will guide the way to a library of information. You exit the outpost, hoping it will remain in peace. You explore much of the Underdark and check out the previous cities that you have visited three months ago. Seeing each city in a dire state of madness and destruction from the Demon Lords in the Underdark, you make your way to the library of Graven Hollow. After traveling aimlessly for many days, the ring given to you by Gazrim starts to glow. You must be near the library. Approaching the stone library, you are greeted by a basilisk. The basilisk introduces himself as Veldysker, and tells you that he has been expecting you. He brings you into the library, where you experience visions of events that occur either in the past, present, or future. You see visions of demon lords and explorers of the library, all from varying time periods. While exploring the library, you meet a drow named Vizirin, who tells you of the sinister plot unfolding. Lolf, the goddess of drows, has been influencing a drow named Grom to bring the demon lords into the Underdark in order for her to have free reign of the Abyss. Vizirin offers to take you to his tower in Araj, where he will tell you of his plans to challenging the demon lords. While skeptical of the drow, you still follow him to his building. Once arriving in Araj, you enter the tower and make your way to the studio. Here, Vizirin discusses his plans with you. The drow tells you that he plans on crafting a talisman called the Dark Heart. It will be used in a demonic ritual that is so evil, it will compel every demon lord to go to it. Unfortunately, he does not have the components to craft it and needs your help to retrieve it. The components are a purple worm egg and the central eye of a beholder, 
both found in the worm writings, six feathers of an angel in a Goristro's heart, both found in the labyrinth, 13 tin mass mushrooms, blood from a demon lord, and lastly, Gromp's grimoire. Additionally, he informs you that the dark heart must be placed in Menzo Berenzin. Once all the demon lords gather, they will fight among one another, and the final one standing will be easier to defeat. Agreeing to help him, you set forth to the worm writings to collect the first of the components. Making your way into the nest of the worm writings, you encounter a party of drows who also wish to steal the eggs. Having a brief tussle with them, a purple worm appears and attacks your party. You fend off the purple worm and manage to run off with an egg. Along the way, you find the layer of Karazikar, a beholder. You fight through the beholder and barely manage to scrape by, killing the floating monster. You carve his central eye and proceed to carry it back to Araj, where you hand over the egg and the eye to Vizirin. Leaving the tower, you make your way to the labyrinth to find the feathers of an angel. Coming to an area near Gracklestug, you find the labyrinth. You descend into the long and winding maze, where laws of physics seem to be forgotten. Encountering strange lands and weird monsters, you finally find a Garisto in battle with the demon lord, Yinogu, and his null companions. Hiding in the corner, you wait there until a victor emerges. Yinogu lands a finishing blow onto the Goristro and feasts on the body before leaving into the labyrinth. Taking advantage of the opportunity, you collect the Goristro's heart and carry the blood of the demon lord in the horn of the monster. Further in, you are able to find angels, but it is not what you had expected. Locked in stone, they are unmoving and forever bound. You pluck six feathers before they begin to attack you. Fleeing for your life, you make it back to the entrance of the labyrinth and bring the three ingredients to the tower. The city of Menzo Baranzin. Here's where the drows mainly reside. Traversing it will be difficult, but you need the grimoire of Gromp. You sneak into the city and avoid most of the drows, for they would surely capture you. That is, with the exception of a few. Either with the help of the drows you encounter at the Worm Writhings, the family members of Gromp, or even the spies of Vizirin, you make your way to Gromp's house where you find his grimoire. Stealing it from his studies, you escape the town and make it back to the tower, leaving the only one item left to be retrieved. You rest in the tower, preparing to find the last item, but suddenly, you get a vision. The vision is a wedding of a horrible creature, followed by an image of a familiar myconid, Basidia. She begs you to stop this wedding, for it would give Zuckmoy unimaginable power. Afterwards, you see a land filled with fungi and learn the name of the fungi network the demon lord plans to marry, Aramaikos. Rushing to the wedding destination, you make your way to the territory Aramaikos and find it just as you saw in your vision. You embark closer to the center of the fungi network, where you are met with Basidia. She warns you of the dangers ahead and hands you some spores. She reassures you that the spores will not harm you, but instead protect you from Zuckmoy's mind-controlling spores. In the death of Aramaikos, you defeat some monsters who burst on defeat. They release some spores that bring you into a fungal dream. You make your way into the fungal brain and witness the severe damage caused by the demon lord's presence. Zuckmoy appears and attacks you in the dream, but midway through the fight, she exits the dream. Afterwards, you repair the damage done upon the fungal mind. Aromikos thanks you for your aid, but implores you to hurry to the site of the wedding. You rush to the wedding to find Zuckmoy being devoured by another demon lord, Jublix. You fight the slime and barely make it out alive, having slain the slime monster. Basidia and Aramaikos hails you heroes of the Myconids and bestows upon you a charm of heroism. Additionally, Tin Masks can be found all over the corpses of the Demon Lords. You collect 13 of them and return to Araj, handing Vizirin the final item for his talisman. Vizirin crafts the talisman and informs you to take it to the Drow City. He hands you a sending scroll and informs you that once it has been placed, inform him through the spell and he shall initiate the ritual. You make your way there, hoping to put an end to this horrible conflict. Sneaking back into the city of Menzo Berenzin, you place the talisman in the city and prepare yourself for battle. You can use the scroll and cast a sending spell for Vizirin to start his ritual. In no time at all, four demon lords suddenly appear before you. Demogorgon, Orcus, Baphomet, and Yunogu. Had you not defeated Zuckmoy and Jublix, you are sure their arrival would have made things much more difficult. The demon lords immediately strike one another, landing blow after blow. They wreak havoc among the drow city, as the drows run for dear life. You chase down the battle, following the brutal events as each demon lord is struck down. Now, only one remains, Demogorgon. The twin-headed monster is vulnerable, and you attack him with all your might. Picking up the wand left from Orcus, you can use its power along with the help of the allied factions and slay the final demon lord. You make your way to the surface world, back to Gontelgrim, and declare your heroic deeds. The world is safe from the demon lords, at least for now. Hello everybody, thank you so much for sticking it out to the end. Holy crap, this story is super long. If you guys plan on running this campaign, first of all, good luck to you. This is a long ass campaign, you're in it for the long haul. 
Secondly, uh, I used an online resource when writing my script that is really helpful. I'll link it in the description. You should totally use that online resource. It like moves things around that should be moved around and explains things pretty well. Like they make some suggestions that are really helpful to the story. Otherwise, I really appreciate you guys watching. Please give me a like and subscribe. It, it takes me a while to make these and I really appreciate all of that. And uh, yeah, have a good day.